Well, as a graduate student, I, I worked on the, the con construction of very short pulse lasers and, and building amplifiers to take the energy of, of relatively low energy laser pulses and, and boost them to, to very high energies. And these pulses are of the duration of on the order of 10 to the minus 14 seconds, which is an extremely short time scale. And this is a time scale on, on which atoms move around, carriers move inside of semiconductors. Um, and things like that. Also, these laser pulses can be focused to, to very strong intensity, so you can drive very nonlinear responses in matter. In, in order to have a very, very short laser pulse, you need a, a broad spectral bandwidth, which means, in principle, you can use various techniques to, to manipulate the pulse in the spectral domain to shape it in, in complicated ways in time. And so, essentially, a lot of what we do is taking these pulses that we've shaped in time um, in order to manipulate things like like vibrations and or rotations in molecules or carriers moving around in semi semiconductors and, and things like that, um, so the type of things that that we're most interested in right now is to to be able to use some sort of pulse shaper to control some knobs to shape a pulse in time and and interact that light with with a molecule and create very specific. Uh, large distortions in the molecule. There's two main reasons we're interested in doing this. One, it turns out that if you ex excite these molecules um, in this way, you can have a large collection of molecules that are moving together in, in concert, and that um, changes, for example, the index of refraction of, of the material and acts as, as a very, very fast phase modulator. So you can phase modulate with exceptionally large bandwidths and and further manipulate optical pulses or, in principle, possibly even imprint information on optical pulses at, at speeds, you know, hundreds of times at least faster than, than can currently be done. One of the other main thrusts is to use the, the ability to distort these molecules in specific ways with laser pulses, um, to try to use laser pulses as uh, to catalyze chemical reactions. So. Essentially what happens normally with, with some sort of catalytic reaction is you have some, some catalytic surface. Molecules come near the surface, they, they distort, that lowers a barrier to a chemical reaction, and you can drive a chemical reaction. And many of the industrial chemical processes are, are driven by these, these catalytic reactions. Um, the catalytic converter in, in your car converts carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. And these, these things are very prevalent, and they make reactions that normally wouldn't happen, happen. If you can take a, a laser pulse, shape it in, in time to distort a molecule in the right way, you, you may be able to drive a reaction. Um, and chemists have been working on this for you know, 40 or 50 years now. And recently, substantial progress has been made towards that. And, and the progress has all been with these shaped laser pulses to try to manipulate these molecules. Ultimately, where we want to take this is to be able to manipulate um, large molecules, for example, proteins and enzymes in a biological cell. And enzymes' main function is, is to catalyze uh, biochemical reactions. And so if you can use a laser pulse as a knob to control the distortions and conformations of an enzyme, you can, in principle, mediate, speed up, slow down, switch off biochemical reactions or processes that are happening inside cells, and, and also potentially look at gene expression and gene function in situ in a cell. But a lot of the work we do in the lab is, is very multidisciplinary. We, we interact a lot with chemists and physicists, and um, part of what that does is bring together people from many different perspectives and disciplines looking into, at and trying to tackle the same problem, which brings lots of different perspectives and often what you find is, is at those interfaces, lots of discoveries are made, and there's lots of, lots of opportunity for very exciting things to happen.